Hello, first of all, I just want to say thank you for the 5,000 views in one day on my Hyenas gameplay video. Uh, that video has received so many views that Sega reached out and has given me five playtest codes to give to you guys. Um, so dotted throughout this video on screen, there will be some uh, closed playtest codes that appear. Um, I'll put one on screen now. And then the other four will just appear randomly throughout the video, so make sure to watch out for them. Um, I'm not going to hide them, it will be obvious when they come up, so you'll be able to uh, grab them pretty easily. And, um, yeah. So I've played, I think in total I've probably played for about two hours this test, and I think I played again for two hours, maybe three, in the previous test that I was invited to, which was uh, close to a smaller audience, so roughly four or five hours in total. Um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it, um, I'm learning a few things, I'm getting better at the game. Uh, it is becoming a little bit repetitive playing the same map, I won't lie. However, it's still like enjoyable and obviously when the game does release, or even in future tests, I'm sure there'll be two, three, four maps um, to play so it won't feel as repetitive when you get into those different environments. I'm also addicted to playing as Sonic, so <laughs> I, know, I know it's not Sonic, <laughs> but um, that's Partially why it probably feels repetitive is because I'm not really diving into any of the um, other hyenas um, or the characters. Um, hyenas is what they're called. Um, I'm just I'm just buying a bunch of Sonic skins. Um, I have the basic Sonic. I have Metal Sonic. I have Shadow. I might have Tails as well. Like I <laughs> just keep on buying them. Um, but I'm I'm getting better with that character. I'm actually learning that it's better to use the pistol as that character, I believe, um, than the SMG, because the SMG is like super low damage. I understand that the character is fast and the SMG is short range and very quick, therefore low damage, but if anyone from um, Creative Assembly or Sega is watching this, my little bit of feedback would be simply just give it another um, like block or two of damage um, in the stats, because it takes so long to kill people with the SMG um, to the point where I'm, I'm winning like 20% or less of my gunfights with the SMG um, and I'm a guy who's played FPS games since I was 8 years old um, I'm fairly good at games like Halo uh, that have long time to kill and I, I am struggling in this game in some of the gunfights um, Swapping over to the pistol, I got like three kills with the pistol in a single game, and I was like, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, it just seems to be so much more precise, uh, it does so much more damage, and it's so much easier to hit the head with for some reason. Um, I feel like there's aim assist on the pistol, I feel like there's a bit of drag helping me out or something, that might be why. Um, but yeah, so far just having a, a lot more success with the pistol, as you'll see towards the end of this video, I decided to swap over and uh, I get a few kills very quickly. Um, so maybe there's a bit of balancing needed on the weapon side of things. So yeah, uh, performance wise, I have capped it at, at 60, I don't know if that's my choice or if the game just caps at 60. But either way, uh, I only have 60 hertz monitors anyway. Um, because uh, I do graphic design stuff and my monitors aren't really for gaming, they're more for creative things. Um, so as far as I'm aware, the game is running very smooth for me. Uh, I'd say my PC is like mid-tier. I'm on an i5, which is actually pretty bad. Um, but I have 32 gig of RAM and a 3060, so my GPU and RAM is probably carrying me through. Um, but it's, it's running smooth. So, that's good. Uh, another bit of feedback very quickly. I'm not sure if I'm just dumb <laughs> or if this is a thing, but navigating the map has been kind of difficult for me. I often lose my teammates. Like, I'll go looting, and before I know it, my teammates and me are, you know, two minutes apart, and I'm kind of sat there, like, running around, looking in all directions, thinking, where are my teammates? Which way do I go? Um, I often forget to even open the map, but when I do, I, like, I open the map, I get the general idea of where they are, close the map. And then navigating the little radar version in the top corner just seems, I don't know, it seems weird for me for some reason. Um, and I often get stuck and lose where doorways are and stuff like that. Uh, but as I keep playing the game, I'm kind of learning the map in general just by eyesight. 
and remembering the rooms and things like that. So maybe, maybe eventually I'll just kind of know where to go through playing. Uh, but those are my only like two kind of gripes with it. Um, this has impressed me a lot more than I thought it would, and I think a lot of people are in the same boat. There is tons, as I said in the previous video, tons of like negative comments towards this game. Not only on my videos, but on the official um, Hyenas gameplay videos and trailers and stuff like that. Um, and then people are playing it and commenting things like, I gave this a chance and I'm actually enjoying my time. It's both more of a relaxing game, but also intense at the same time. The, the looting and the PvE aspect when you're killing the, uh, the grunts and the drones and things is pretty easy. Like, they're not really going to give you a challenge. Um, so it's nice and relaxing. And then when you enter an encounter with an enemy team, that's when, like, the classic gamer lean forward in your chair, stare at the monitors without blinking kind of gameplay style pops in. Um, so it's a nice balance between the two. I've heard some people say... Um, somebody in my Discord server said uh, they played for like five or six matches um, and then they kept on getting like spawn killed almost. A apparently it's becoming a tactic to just rush the enemy's spawn at the beginning of a game uh, and that kind of deterred him away so he's not playing anymore. I'm not sure if anyone else is having that but so far in my games nobody is rushing spawns. Um, it's very much an average of 10 to 20 minute matches where people are looting for, you know, the 10 minutes and then eventually stumbling across enemy teams. And I think that's the way that, uh, I, mean, I assume that's the way that the developers imagine people would play the game. But I know that obviously just rushing into somebody's spawn and, and trying their chances um, is something that's allowed in, I think, like every extraction shooter. Chances of somebody still being in their spawn are obviously pretty slim as well. Um, so... Some of it might, may just be like pure chance that you happen to stumble into someone in the first like five minutes. But yeah, as I said, personally, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. I am going to play uh, probably like 30 minutes to an hour every day um, until it ends. So in total, I think I might rack up between seven and ten hours of the test. Um, and then I'll give like a final verdict on it um, once I've, I've done that. Um, yeah. That's it. Let me know in the comments what you think so far. If you've played, do not comment, this game is crap. If you haven't launched it and you didn't get invited. Because <laughs> I know there's some people that just go, oh, this is rubbish. Before they even try it, um, just give everything a chance. It's free. It's a test. you got nothing to lose other than, a, I don't know, 20 gig of download space and 30 minutes of your time which you can easily get back just by uninstalling if you don't like it so nothing really to lose give it a chance um, if you're in the need for a new fps game um, that has somewhat of, of an arena style but also is an extraction shooter hyenas might be perfect for you um so yeah thanks for watching this one um hope you grabbed a code and uh, if you didn't, I don't know, who knows, maybe Sega will send me another five. <laughs> um, if this video gets like another 5,000 views, maybe they'll just send me another five cards um, and I'll do another video. So, yeah. All right. Goodbye.